What is it that you're seeking on your spiritual path? Hi, I'm Reverend Allie Bierman. You can find me over at Metaphysical Ministry International.com. So, what is a metaphysical ministry anyway? Well, it's all about sharing the fact that what we experience using our five senses doesn't really let us experience what is out there in the world because what we see, hear, taste, smell, and touch is less than 1% of the reality that exists. Sometimes you hear about things that other people see or they hear or they just know. Well, that's because they've allowed themselves to experience beyond those five senses. I know that happens a lot for me and I call them knowings and I also know anybody can do that when you choose to allow yourself to do that. So we begin every week with a happy share. And that's something that left you, or in my case, me, feeling happy, something for myself. Not about my kids or my friends, but about me. And what's leaving me feeling really happy is I decided to start a new habit every morning. When I get up in the morning, I usually smile at myself because there are mirrors in lots of places in my bedroom. So I see myself as soon as I wake up, get up, get out of bed. And I decided to just sing. Now back before I lost my voice, I used to sing and hum all the time. It was just an unconscious habit that I had always done. And I decided by doing that, I'm letting the universe know, hey, I'm ready for my voice to return. So in the morning, my voice is there. And even though this is evening, I still have a pretty decent voice. So it's all a matter of changing what's going on up in here so you can create the new neural pathways that no longer exist. I gotta make whole new ones here so I can do my speaking and my singing. So I've had the habit of playing my guitar every day so my fingers don't lose the calluses because I do play an electric guitar and those are kind of big steel strings. And now I'm having the singing because I decided I intend to do something I really, really love. I love to teach through my music. That's why I'm called the Minstrel Minister. And I'm going to create a recital sometime, hopefully in the month of July, but I'll keep you informed and I'll make sure we get it taped. So, what I want to do something a little bit different today is ask you exactly, why are you here? What is it you're looking for? Why are you seeking out a metaphysical ministry, a spiritual ministry? What are your exact questions? Because when you ask them, I'll know exactly what to share with you. So go on down there and in the comment section, let me know what do you want to explore right here a Metaphysical Ministry International. And that way, whatever it is, I'll be hitting right on target for you. Now, if you're on our ministry page and you look up there, you'll see the Hold the Space page for. Go ahead, if there's something you want to manifest in your world that's not there right now, let us know what it is. And I'll put it up there. You leave it down in the comment, I'll put it up there. And come back at least once a week. I know I do this pretty much every day for every name on there and the request. And it doesn't matter if I don't know who all those people are. The universe does. So read each name, read their request. And that will take it from the thought form that you're doing on your own that might be little. And for as many people as read it and share it and tell your friends and family to come by, read each name, read their request. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's thought forms that are creating paradigms and realities for people. Who knows who will come across your request and put so much power into it. Or maybe even know somebody to help you get there. Of course your thought form is going out for the universe to deliver to you, which happens right away. And when you take inspired action, it gets delivered to you. If you haven't done so already, go on over there. And if you leave your name and email address, I'll send you a copy of How to Take Your First Steps on Your Spiritual 
that. I really appreciate your clicking like and share. And please do let me know exactly how I can help you move along your spiritual path. Because you know what? I belong to some other spiritual groups. And in the groups, there seems to be a thought that whoever's running the group, or for people who go to a church service, that the minister or the priest or the rabbi, whoever the leader is, has this tight connection with a higher source, that's ludicrous. Each of us is a divine spirit. Each of us is God. Each of us is part of the higher source, which of course is more than any one of us individuals because the higher source is an intelligent energy that not only fills everything we perceive as matter, but the interspaces in between the molecules. I wish you a wonderful week filled with many blessings and getting your desires, getting your clarity to replace confusion about your spiritual beliefs. Blessings.